Welcome to the Pressbooks for Academic Publishing series. Today we'll talk about setting up a bookshelf in Pressbooks. When you first go to Text Organize, it will look like this. There are several sections in any book. There's the front matter, items such as your introduction or foreword. Back matter includes appendices, bibliography, glossary, etc. And then there's the main part of your book. You can also create additional parts. To do so, you can add a part here, here, or here. You can edit the name of a part or reorder it. And you can add chapters or front or back matter. When you're setting up your book, you may also wish to add in your metadata. To do so, click on Book Info. Here you can add your book's title, subtitle, author, ISBNs, copyright, description, and more. Also, if you have an ebook cover, upload it from your desktop by clicking here. The ebook cover goes into both the bookstore and inside your book, whereas the print book cover will be submitted to your printer as a separate file. To select one of Pressbooks' 50 professional book designs, go to Appearance and Themes. Scroll down to peruse the 50 themes, choose a theme you like, and click Activate. Before you export your book for publication, you should also select some theme options, which you can do here. The global options will apply to all formats of your book, both of the ebook formats as well as the PDF. The web options will apply to your web book, which is mostly important if you're going to make it public. The PDF options apply to your interior file for print. Here you can choose whether to indent or skimp lines between paragraphs, whether to have all chapters start on the right side. You can also choose your style of footnotes and the length of Widows and Orphans. Be sure to save. When you're done with your book, go to Export. Decide which book formats to export, click Export Your Book, and then download the files that Pressbooks generates.